sky had begun to bleed a pale orange by the time he had arrived inside. Moving towards the large window, he threw his dirty tools to clutter furiously in the sink. His body ached from having worked so long. Since the sun had dawned on the horizon he'd been out there, his hands crawling incessantly over his creation, fiddling painfully at every minuscule detail. A dull pain washed over his hands as the warm water from the tap melted the dry clay from his fingers. He cleaned the colony of nicks and bruises that had accumulated, a price of his masterpiece. Turning off the tap, he painfully straightened his crooked back and stared through the glass looking out into the field beyond his house. He smiled to see the dark figure that stood out there alone. He could just make out his features. He marvelled at the thought of the humanity he was able to breathe into every one. In his blind fascination, he had failed to notice the sky darkening. Only a little at first, but it began to slowly creep its way across the entirety of the horizon, casting a dull grey shadow upon the field. The patter of the first drops were enough to break his transfiction. A horrific realisation struck. He fled back to the hallway, frantically pulling on his boots. He snatched a tarpaulin which sat neatly folded on the bench beside his back door. The door barely remained on its hinges as it flung open. The tense figure of the sculptor ran desperately into the driving rain. A dagger of bright lightning tore the sky apart as he fled towards his quarry. The following roar strengthened the fear growing within him, its deep rumble echoing the terror coursing through his body. It eased slightly as he realised the outline of the figure had grown closer, almost enough to touch when the wet floor suddenly left him. For a moment he was weightless. Then his body met with the soaking ground. A sickening crack filled the air. He looked down towards his legs where the now puddling water was tinged with crimson. The pain was unbearable. The icy rain numbed the wound just enough to allow him to raise his muddy head. His creation stood just metres from him, looming ominously from the murky gloom. He squinted in an effort to make out his soft face, just in time to see the features he carved early that day melt into nothing. The roar of laughter oozing into sludge.